recording. All right, there we go. So, hey everyone, welcome Hi. back to a surprise stream of hey. of I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good them dating sim. Like, I know, look at the gay weren't kidding when they said how hot he really was. I am so excited to play this, and with me is my girlfriend, Comic Book Pixie Cosplay on Instagram. You can follow me also on Facebook too. It doesn't get enough love. Yeah, Instagram's like your main thing. It really is. Because I just, I think it's so much easier. Plus, I use that as my Facebook now. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, we're going to be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, because we've been wanting to for such a long time. And I'm we... I'm so excited. Even though I feel like we also kind of, like, betrayed Colonel Sanders today because I ate chicken from... Um, Sonic. Yeah, we had Sonic for dinner when we really should have had KFC. But there's none around you, which is really Actually, there scary. is one. Oh, there. You lied to me. Can we, can we swear on your Twitch? I okay? prefer you didn't, because I fair. don't. Okay, okay. That's why I was asking. Because I, I swear like a sailor, You so. do. You really do. <laughs> All right. So it you're looks... you're going to also up this, um, upload this onto YouTube later. Yes. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's where I put all of my old streams. So Gosh. I think we're ready to go. So new game. Wait, have you played this before? I've never touched so this why before. So I didn't say load game. Like I wonder what would happen. I think that's just normal. Okay. Uh, why isn't the this? The music in this is so lovely. Like for a, what name do you want it to be? Play it with squirrel. How do you spell squirrel? Ah! <laughs> yes, I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm like look the worst person. To ask about the I am so war. Oh I'm shit! War. <laughs> no, no, no! You gotta do it. You gotta make it sound like Ruby. I'm warm. Okay, here we go. S K U I R R R R. Oh no! I can't do any more than this. No! <laughs> so it just looks like place with squee. Place with squee. <laughs> that is our name. We are place with squee. You don't, you can't make that joke though because you've never seen the episode. Of Boy Meets World? Evan's never seen Boy Meets World. Give him hate in the it's, comments. It's never interested, it's never interested in me at all. I used to watch that all the time with my dad. That was like my go-to thing as a child. Eric was my favorite, who quoted my, fav my favorite line, plays with squirrels. And then Mr. Matthews, Mr. Squirrels. Eric plays, plays with... <laughs> But, but since we don't have enough room in the text box, we are now plays with Squee. Wait, wait, wait. What would happen if you, like, got rid of the two? Yeah. So it could just be... <laughs> plays with Squirr. I'm totally fine with this. Okay, we're plays with Squirr. <laughs> Ooh, who's, that? who's the viewer? We oh, have man, one those... viewer. That's me. Oh. <laughs> so officially, we have zero. That's fine. It's fine, fam. I mean, whenever I, like, stream on Instagram stories, because I don't have the software for Twitch yet, um, I just normally have, like, one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe twenty. You it's sleep no softly deal. as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. I didn't have, a, I didn't have an apartment when I was in college. <laughs> the world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Can Mood. we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that they have, like... Hold on, I was looking at I know, at I was that. just closing something. Okay, that they have, like, a Kung Fu chicken right on the wall there, and then a... A, a K-pop band? But it's a very generic K-pop band. It could be any of them. <laughs> or you could wake oh up. <laughs> or you could wake up now, now, now. No, Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. I don't like You have volume control. Smack, no. Carly, what should I do? Smack that clock up and at him or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. I really want to know what happens if you say throw the clock out the window but we're going to say smack that clock, smack that clock. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. <laughs> that is the lot. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I thought maybe it, it doesn't was gonna spell be, okay, anything. I thought it was gonna be like maybe a funny joke. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? Who will? What will? You, who will you cook? I almost said. What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll you need, need to, to take... take this seriously. All right. I was always an overachiever back in. Plays with Squirt. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. 
You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth? Brushed. Hair? Combed. Pits? Deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Carly, this is no time for singing. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. You can see the steam coming off of it. Man, I really want a biscuit. Yeah, now I do too. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy wait, wait, for wait, Learning. Wait, wait. I get to do all the girl voices. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. All right. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Oh, I love her. She's the cutest little bee. She's the, the most planet. adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, please, with score. <laughs> Why do you sound like Sue from Hero Academia? <laughs> because it fits. It does. Are you, are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... <laughs> because I sure am <laughs> excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay. A lot of nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. But, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any of the love in the food. Oh. What if I'm no good? What if I... What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Oh, it's like my parents, even yeah. though they were just really academically inclined, so I was always like, if I don't get an A, they're gonna ridicule me for life. <laughs> Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, what? <laughs> it's been clear oh, to me that you're- quicksand is such a big thing for children. You always thought it would be when you're young. <laughs> It's been clear to me that you're the most loving and caring person I know. You're going to do great! Oh, <laughs> but, but with the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, that is such a long title. And you're going to be saying it a lot. Famous three-day only semester. Three-day only semesters. I hate that. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh, we've all been there. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Change the subject to school gossip. Okay. I like, I like some good. It's gossip. hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. The bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said I won't curse, but that just felt right. <laughs> I, I Rather, really feel like there's a bitch there. Rather, oh, you're gonna see one soon. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, her you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. <laughs> yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about the mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Uh -huh. Oh, get this. I heard his name is Harlan. And he's no ordinary student. I love how her class, how her constant pose is, um, you are getting sleepy. I'm not saying I'm more like a JoJo pose. Like, oh, you're going to see a JoJo soon. I know. I'm so excited. He's my favorite. They say he has powers. <laughs> he's had them ever since he was born from an egg. What? What? <laughs> Wait. An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. It's just a chicken! But that thing about having Dr. powers, Dr. it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. <laughs> Coming this fall, the official sequel to I Love, I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Have my baby, President Roosevelt. <laughs> You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreaming. I just can't. <laughs> Carly, please breathe. As I may be President Roosevelt. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved oh, measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. It's Ashley. Ashley. That's like the white person Actually, way of saying that. I have a friend named Ashley who, when I went to school in South Carolina, we spelled her name just like that. I am so sorry. She's actually still one of my really good friends. Oh, I, oh, I'm Hi, sorry. Hi, Ashley, if you're watching. Probably not, because you don't really do much on social media. That's it's, fine, though. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken shin. Chicken shin. A 
Okay, you do that voice way too well. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing an Audrey from Honey Pot thing. That works. You leave plays with Squirt's shit. Oh, that's you. Sorry. You leave plays with Squirt. <laughs> Can I just say plays with Squirrel? Okay. You leave plays with Squirrel shins alone. They are perfect, normal shins. Oh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying, right? You know for a this fact that it's- This name is way too self-aware. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. The only else. thing that's different, and now I notice this, is that it didn't have an E between the A and the S. If anyone knows, if anyone here knows what- Wow, That's I Miriam, not, not, not Ashley. Today. If anyone knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, oh Van Van boy. the Man Man. <laughs> oh boy. Has Van Van the Man Man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so oh, tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> oh, that's Ahem, <laughs> Van Van. You rang, rang. <laughs> I love him so much! Notice he's wearing nothing under his apron. I, I appreciate it. You've Don't never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. They look like Team Rocket. They do. They honestly do. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy I like for he Learning... Has a star. Yeah. And I just noticed that. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend to students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us as profession as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. I'm trying to do the voice of Dio Brando. No, Simon Belmont from Captain N the Game Master. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, but so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, see, see, see you later, Lucy. As, uh! <laughs> as you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing out. Push, pushy looking is kid really pushing hard thing? against. It's not for me. No, it's just that one like scream uh, sound. Yeah, that right okay. there. Against the window directly <laughs> next to it. And he farted! After my own heart! Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Oh, uh, well, I've done that before. Uh, I can't make fun of that. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name cl tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, you poor child, boy. Hi, Pop. I'm plays with squirrels. So... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walked in, walks into the building ahead of you. Does it just leave? Or is he kind of cute? Oh, honey, you could do so much better than that. I think it's just you. <laughs> You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Ah! <laughs> the moment we've been waiting uh -huh. for. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Why did you make it sound like Batman? <laughs> I don't... I support who is, this 100%. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? <laughs> who is this rude lost child? <laughs> and why is she just standing in frame? You must be Spickles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be, I'm not going to do that voice. No. Please, call me Professor, please call me Professor Dog. I'm going to make him Solid Snake. Okay, I'm sure I may be cute fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! It kinda is, though. I guess I only mean, a dog's name is capable eyes. of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, <laughs> when- oh god. Out of nowhere, yes! 
wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry oh, blossom no, petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly! Someone close the window! And then... He <gasps> walks in. Oh my god! It's everything ever wanted. You're me He is a JoJo! Look at him! Oh wow, I just realized we can see my mouse in the broadcast. Okay. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time like a... stands still. <gasps> Carly, it's your line. <laughs> it's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish oh his God. sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. You should make him, make him sound. Who? Krog. No. Oh, come on! No, he, he's oh, too pretty me. for that. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders... I can't believe I'm saying that in a sentence. As Colonel Sanders walks down You're the welcome. aisle of desks, suddenly his, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your prow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be as sweaty as sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. <laughs> You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? You take a moment to go. Oh, wow. That's the only choice I got. Yep. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. And it was hot, hot, hot. Ellipsis. Very hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps, into, steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. I love Many it when it goes like this. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. I love that movie. There might even really be really adorable tiny food. That? No, actually. It's actually really solid. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. Wait, okay, what? But where is this game? Like, that's what I want. I just want a cooking game. They, they, they exist, they just suck. I know. You will lift your sporks and compete game. in the broom cooking arena. So that just sounds like a good time to me. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Is it just me? Okay. Does he look like a character from Over the Garden Wall to you? He does, kind of. Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school as you, with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before Look I finish. Look at my butt. Look at my butthole. Let that be a lesson. I was just gonna say butt. They're in the same area. That's eh, true. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is... Unacceptable. Wait, wait, wait. Unacceptable! Unacceptable! <laughs> I'm not gonna go with Blum and Grab, but that works too. <laughs> well, you know, I think that might be easier than Solid Snake. Even Clank made it here on time! You're rolling to, halfway! Keep, it, keep that voice perfect. Across town on his tiny wheels! Oh my god. 100%. I'm sorry, I need this right now. That's my water. <laughs> you turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. It's a fryer! Or an oven? This is weird. The class oh, no, no, bursts no, no, into fryer. It's a fryer. The class bursts into laughter. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal! Look, he made a smile! Aww! Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Your diet is lacking! Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin! You should be taking care, better care of yourself! I really need to start taking vitamins, but I don't want to. Yeah, me 
too. <laughs> you never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You Chicken just, snack. You decide to try and butter him up by question. giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Beef treat? Rubber ball? Chicken snack? Chicken snack. It's a you game reach... about chicken. True. Every answer that has chicken in it use chicken. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately over devours the snack, leaving your hand slick <laughs> with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Good life lesson. Settle down, please. settle down, young chefs. Solid life lesson. <laughs> Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened. You see, this is getting too much into pop. I need a different voice for the professor. No, you want to just go no. with whatever you're Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. It's like the third voice you use. Just go back to Snake. It, it's too rough. It's too rough for you guys. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seat, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, play. Oh, that's you. Hey, please, with squirrels. There's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me if you're interested. You gotta go with the Colonel. Gotta go. Sit with by the Colonel Sanders I'm or really sit by sorry. best friend? I'm really sorry, I love you, Miriam, but you gotta go with the Colonel. <laughs> I gotta know what happened. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It oh, appears he brought no oh, books, pens, oh, or pencil. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Have you ever watched an anime called, uh, Don't You Know Me? I'm, I'm Sakamato. Yeah. That's basically this I'm realizing. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Or haven't you heard I'm Sakamato? It was, yeah, it was something like that. Thanks, thanks for offering me the seat. <laughs> Look at his arms. <laughs> I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you, you can. You can tell it's a yaoi because his hands are too big. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. <laughs> Think fast! It's time for a pop quiz! Yay! A pop quiz about me! Yeah, see? I hate you! <laughs> This is incredibly important. That surprising soft quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. I, I like that. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling... Okay, I'm going to read these normally. Okay. If train A is traveling to point B and, tra and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. That's right. Oh, that's... Oh, that was just me. Forced to a tree as chicken is to feather, night vision goggles, a slam dunk. Feather? That's right! Hey! Hey! Thanks for joining, Liz! Hi, Liz! I love you, boo! What is, what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork? A meat tenderizer? A spork. You gotta go off a spork because the spork is actually there. <laughs> she says oh! <laughs> That's right Oh that's just me That's right What f what food is best for a broken heart Anything as long as it is prepared with love And not too much salt Camel meat What? A pancake that looks Wait, like a silly no! face Hold on Why is that an option <laughs> Why is camel meat an option KFC I, I think it's the first one Because that one just seems like because it's prepared That's blood. right. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a very good boy. No, he's a talking dog he's that teaches at culinary school. Boy. He is the best boy. That's right. I fully support Perfect that. score, five out of five. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. <gasps> he I impressed the Colonel. I know we just met. But I have to confess, I think you have a beautiful brain. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hot diggity plays with squirrels. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. But hell yeah, we did! May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. 
time for lunch. Finally. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as at any restaurant you've ever eaten at. Don't, it makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also flowers. be seriousness about eating. Do they have flowers at KFC? No, it's this a is KFC. Advertising. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. He's kind of an asshole. I think he's just very aloof. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Yay! But I... Oh, shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said shh. In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for uh -huh. lunch. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is is this? <gasps> oh, shoot, man. Now that I would... really want more fried chicken. Hey, B Papa. Hi. Yeah, we've been wanting to play this for a long time. Uh, an anime visual novel about KFC. <laughs> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Uh, okay, that has no right being in that good. This is a game. 2D image. It's kind of like a, okay. Like I'm a Miyazaki so movie? Heart, yeah. And I feel like that's like blasphemy for me to say that because his movies are like literal art. Are you good, Dan? Yeah, I just had an itch. <laughs> because his, his movies are like literal art. But I mean, it's a bucket full of fried chicken. And I'm a simple girl. I just like food. <laughs> <laughs> the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and soft. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket? With chicken? What a novel concept! Oh, well, thank you so thank much! Thank you, Dad! Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating! For years, I have I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Wait, that's your dad? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mr. Burger! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Oh god. Uh, I love this game. Nothing less than 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Gotta be very specific with the 11 herbs and spices. I thought Mr. Bremer would be a boring screen name. No, you're good. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all it's I'll. So specific. But that's all I'll say about it. Oh, look at the colonel. He's like side eyeing everyone. Just look at his guns. What? Oh, yeah, man. He does have some media for her. <laughs> What? I you think it. we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! Nah, do my that dude. Voice nah! <laughs> I'm just, oh, he's uh. He's totally a villain. He's got the whole, like, cock clockwork orange eye thing going on. He does. I don't trust you, man. I'm, I'm just, uh, life. drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Are you having a stroke? Because you've been saying um a lot. No, he's, he's thinking on the fly. I know. I'm just teasing. Okay. He looks around nervously to see if anyone is else, else is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley... He looks so bad in this one picture. That, that's like the face from Soul Eater after anyone meets Excalibur. No, he kind of looks... It's like One Punch Man. How he looks really, really bad unless he's like in a serious yeah. moment. Yeah. You wait to see what Zinger Ash Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary... Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Why'd you peter out at the end like that? Because it felt right. Okay. 
You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she sides closer to Colonel Sanders. Get away, horror, he's mine! <laughs> Be gone, <laughs> thought! <laughs> She realizes that she's destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Oh, mm. bitch, we gonna throw hands? Oh, please. Mm. Well, <laughs> Van Van, the man, man Oh, he's angry. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, the I'll take his. Is strong. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. <laughs> Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink Why your is teeth there into it. Around the bucket? Well, I think they're trying to imply that this is the first time that anything's ever been created. Chicken in a bucket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Wait a minute. I Taste. knew it because I watched the Game Grumps episode, but I like fell asleep halfway through. But tasting yes. Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment, trying to identify every flavor, savor the moment, and everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart, or swim towards the light. No, if we swim towards the light, it's game over. Oh, for real? I think so. Okay. So let's try the other two. Uh, uh, let's focus our mind. That's what we'll do. Are you sure it's not that one? I'm sure. Oh, uh, okay. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe? Pepper? Too obviously. Too obvious. Oregano? Basil? Maybe, but there's something like else. That's my favorite spice something spice. dark. Something spicy. You dig deeper. 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 Yes, even steeper still! Until you find it. I love this Could it game. be blank? Well, they censored themselves? <laughs> Look, hold on. Let me. Oh, I can't click. Because he really did it. How bold. How adventurous to use blank. It's crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> you try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. Oh, you snap out of it. But it actually did it. We did it. For, that was for a the, terrible high five. There we go. So for those of you who don't know, we our favorite YouTubers, the Game Grumps, who we see live sometimes whenever it's they're so in fun. town. They're they're hilarious. They're my best friend, Emily. Who, if you're watching this, Emily, I love you. Um, she actually got pulled up on stage because and she was wearing Danny Sex Bane's outfit. And he gave her a hug, and that's been her profile picture on Facebook and Instagram Since forever. Then. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, the Game Grumps for a time played this game, but then they chose the swim towards the light option, and it was an instant game over. Because you died from how delicious the food was. Are you okay? Yeah, my, my face is itchy. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm not used to wearing headphones, so I apologize. It's okay. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet... Now you know. A mantle of responsibility that now rests upon your shoulders. It's human. I think that's one of them, but I yeah. don't think that's the 11th flavor. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one noticed that you traveled oh, through space and time. <laughs> because it wasn't that good. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Oh! You approach Colonel Sanders. That's the only option. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second? Anything for a fellow chef. My man! What exactly was on that chicken? Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's, it's not that... What? He has a he has can, a wizard staff. Can I cosplay as him and just make? You just want to just, just for the staff. <laughs> that is literally all I want is a chicken staff. And Liz says, please do, Carly. Oh, oh, I will. And it'll be should it be a femme version or should I just do like a gender bent cosplay? Do you know how many like Sephiroth and Cloud versions of Ronald McDonald and KFC there are? Do this. I'm so excited. It's I an, can borrow your wig for Hades! Oh my god, yeah! you can't. 
It's an idea I had for a new combination of flip. Fem Sander. Yeah, we gotta take these off. Uh -huh. We're getting hot. They, uh, apparently while we were gone, I did it. my mom had, uh, had a repair guy in to do a tune-up on our furnace, and now it's working a little too well. I love that Fem Sander is gonna happen. Don't know when, but be prepared. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all times. I'm so proud, scared, she says. <laughs> As I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants, no big deal. It's, it's, just, it's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'm willing to trade. Oh, What's the oh, rush? Like that. The semester's only getting started. We we've have got three two, days! We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to you give it up. You are not a Disney prince. Even though he totally looks like one. Right? He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Oh! <laughs> You've got Moxie. Ooh. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, Stop. and then leans in. Look you can so feel funny. his. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. I don't like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just Automon. Here's a message for reason identity. We'll post it in chat. Yes, allow that. <laughs> what a thought! <laughs> Come on, Twitch. Just let us have fun. Uh... No, I allowed it. Okay, good. Good. It good. is allowed. Wait, add permitted term thought. Is thought like a slur on Twitch? On Twitch? What's on twerch? twerch? It's a Twitch where you twerk. <coughs> I guess. <laughs> Evan, Evan, no, stop. <laughs> Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use blank. It's something my great grandmother what is taught this? me. We better fucking. I'm sorry. Oh my. <laughs> we better learn this by the end. Blank? Wow, you never have guessed. You'd never have guessed that. In fact, it's you're not even sure where you'd get some if you search. Monkey meat. <laughs> it's camel meat. <laughs> And blank definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before, so now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared! While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. He's crying. He's got like tears of joy. <laughs> I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Wait, 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 wait. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an, an additional ingredient to really spice things I up. I feel like that's going to kill him. Third one. Be modest but thoughtful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. Oh, he just want. Are you a Leo? He's a Leo. He just really wants the compliment. <laughs> I could make that joke and I'm one. So am I. Yeah, but I, I really like compliments quite a bit. Yeah, that's so, kind of a general thing. <laughs> Leos, we hunger for the attention. <laughs> the f the we flavors... hunger for the attention. <laughs> the flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate Why am I hungry the... now? I know, right? I appreciate the compliment plays with squirrels. I'm, sh I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. <gasps> we should head back inside. The next yeah, lesson more. starts soon. You step into- Whoa! Ooh, new yep. change of scenery. That's hey, nice Hevington! I haven't seen you Hi. in a while. Hi! That is, okay, you know my friend uh, Liam Cunningham? Yeah. That's his mom. Oh, hi! At least I think so. so correct me if I'm wrong. I, it's been a while since I've had you on the stream. Um, you step into the massive cook, and this is the arena? This oh. is a beautiful kitchen. You know, in like, food... Like, I strive. You know, in food kitchen. wars, people have cooking battles against each other, and this I've, is I've what they look food, like. I've seen food wars. You've yeah. seen the first episode of Food Wars. I watched more after you left. I told you that. No, you didn't. I got to the part with the girl wearing the bikini. Oh, you mean best girl? Yeah. 
<laughs> and how I discovered that one cosplayer, Elizabeth Rage. Girl. Probably not, but if you ever be watching this, <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon I mean, lesson will take- I mean, that would be most, utmost respect. Absolutely. Where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place! It's magnificent! Finally, we get to show our stuff! Wait a second, oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Oh, today's Liam's birthday! Happy birthday, Leo! If you get to him before I post, tell him happy birthday from Carly and Evan. Sorry we never Everybody posted. Everybody who's watching this wish Liam a happy birthday. We we never had a chance to post on his Facebook a happy birthday because we've, we've been, been so busy. We've been gone all day. all day. So sorry about that, dude. Um. Oh, you already said that line? Yes. Okay. Oh, and uh, Liz says Yay! happy birthday. You're not going to blow anything except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. She makes tiny food. I love tiny food. Yeah. Welcome, students. No, Evan, stop. Really fast. Guys, if you don't know what tiny food is, look it up because you will not be disappointed. It is one of the most relaxing things to watch. Okay, let's take a look. Because now you got me curious. Tiny food. Is this it? Yeah. I need to watch it being made. That's actual food. This is actual food? Uh-huh. It's one of the most relaxing things to watch. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's all over TikTok. Oh, nice. By the way, Carly's on TikTok. Give her a follow. It's the same Instagram name, Comic Book Pixie. I have a miraculously higher follower count on TikTok, though. Well, that's because unlike TikTok, they don't restrict your viewers. They do if you post negative content, then you're shadow banned, which yeah. I haven't been because that's not my brand. Yeah. So. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Pair with the Colonel! Naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, your you friend. pounce on Colonel <laughs> Sanders. Oh, we don't yeah, even get a shot. Do. Say hello, which is Catherine! Hi, Catherine! So happy you can join! And, uh, be sure to give us, uh, this is directed towards Catherine. Thank you so much! And uh, Catherine, this is directed towards you. Because you told me that you also had problems watching on Twitch. Make sure if you did that thing in your Chrome settings where you disable your hardware acceleration. Because that should get it working. That's what, uh... That's what I have to do? Do I ever want to watch on my phone? If you're, if, well, no. Uh, if you're watching on your computer, but watching on Google Chrome. There's a uh... setting where if you disable something that says, like, enable hardware acceleration, if you turn that off, oh, okay. it should give you an easier time when watching on Twitch. Got it. Because like I said, I know I used to stream Google on, yes, the Google tip seems to work. Awesome. awesome. Even more reason for me to just purely Mine be on Twitch. actually is fine if I use my computer. If I use my phone, though, I run into that issue. Uh, well, with phones, it's you can't exactly stop it. Mobile apps yeah. are weird. Of course, don't you have the actual Twitch app? No, I should get that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, naturally, Miriam looks over to you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Heck yeah, you do. Proud girl. Proud. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is me and you, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> oh, take it back, girl. <laughs> Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, plays with squirrels. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different oh, students quickly no. take notice. Hello, new partner. <laughs> oh, Miriam looks so heartbroken. She, she looks pissed. She doesn't look heartbroken. She looks like... She, uh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, my two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. But I, I don't know who to, who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's she the price you're not her parents. What? You don't have to choose for her. Well, she's unable to do it herself. I'm not your handler. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being for, alone forever. Oh, Miriam's so hard. For, I know. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's pa partner? I'd clank. say, yeah, Clank. Don't put her with Pop. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. 
It's okay, I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Whirp, 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 whirp. Hold on there, fella. I don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. He's kind of adorable. You know who he reminds me of? Who? Mataton from Undertale. Actually, he reminds me of the new uh, com robot character in Monster Prom who's voiced by Jack Septicai. You didn't know that? He's voiced by Jack Septicai. No, I've never, I haven't played that one yet. Uh, it's second term. Haven't we? No, I only played the original with you. Oh, we gotta fix that. Yeah, we do. Next dream! Yeah, Calculester. Thank you, Catherine, because she oh, plays it a lot. Awesome. Monster Prom's so fun. Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank judders, and a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Oh. Oh? Oh? Uh, is that a... Is that a... What, what did he say? A I, panel? Is that a panel, or are you just happy to see me? Clank judders, and a... Oh, I already read that. Looks like you two will be fine. I think I made the right choice. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind or your grandmother's mashed potatoes and your gravy. Your grandma's mashed potatoes and gravy. Ooh. Always pick mashed Yes! I know you. I've, I know I've you always been so well. I've always been something of a down, huh? Mashed potatoes! <laughs> that is what we like to call comfort food. If you're having a horrible day, it's a food that will just bring that smile back. And it's so satisfying. And I'm like really good at making them. I will oh, cook I you know. up with the mashed potatoes. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes <gasps> and gravy? <laughs> wait, 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 thumbnail. Wait, let me do the other one so we can actually, no, put our arms together. Okay, okay. <laughs> I couldn't imagine one without the other. Mashed potatoes always, yes. Although you're gonna hate me for this, I'm not a gravy guy. I'm not, not a gravy girl either. Okay, thank God. This game of absurd and I love him baffled by it. Us too. Right? <laughs> Colonel but, um, Sanders. Top has... tip, though. Going off on a tangent here. If you want them to be really creamy, put cream cheese in your mashed potatoes. Ooh, girl. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I like brown gravy, but not white gravy. That's fair. Uh, Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. <gasps> Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Anime blush. <laughs> I'll go get the potatoes. I'll go get the potatoes. <laughs> I like brown gravy, but not white gravy. Wait. And I just said that's fair. White gravy is chicken gravy. Brown oh. gravy is like red meat gravy. Butter, Butter with, with salt, salt and pepper. pepper. I put cream. Yum. Oh, all these are good. And also, let me give major props to the chat for being like very active right now. Yeah, I, it's great. Guys, please don't be silent when we play on Twitch. Chat it up. We like to. Oh, we love, love to interact with yeah. you guys. Um, no, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Oh, I am sure it is. Make sure you pick some eggplants, maybe some melons. I will not be silenced. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be silenced. Oh, here's you. Oh. Look at, oh, wow. <laughs> Read the line first and then say it. How many times do I have to tell you that? Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders, heart is my business. And you'd better keep your fingers off my mans, mm. bitch. Did someone <laughs> call for me? Ah! Oh. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Wait, I gotta do this with my right hand. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> Sorry, what the hell? 
Oh, that's you. Oh, oh, team. No, man, man. Well, I'm over here. Crushing play with Crow's dreams. We are supposed to be taking care of a crosswork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns, arms full, full of peeled with the swear to Joseph. He peeled them? Yeah. Jesus. Well, swear it's Joseph Joestar. Uh, oh, right. Seriously, Actually, though. I'll see your Joseph and I'll raise you a Josuke. Arc 4, the one with the pompadour. Yeah, yeah, that's my. Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh. Oh. Just the how... to go down! <laughs> oh. Howdy there, Ashley. Bam, bam. Are you working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Oh, look at her. She looks so completely different. Actually, no. I look like Maze with Oh my god, he does! Sorry, I just... He looks like a weird combination of Joseph and Bruce from Skyward Sword. He totally does. No, it actually looks like Painless Bros was struggling, so I offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. PC on amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. You do that way too well, <laughs> and it's freaky. Why, thank you. I was going to... I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Something rude, man, man. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to... Concoct. Thank you, concoct. Why can't I read today? Concoct creations where the... Creations! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> let me try it. Let me try it again. Concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your friend, your friend chicken was quite spectacular. Were you about to say friend chicken? <laughs> <laughs> friend Aaron. <laughs> but Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing. That has a position itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we Oh, he's angry. Complimentary, complimentary shadows. We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. I'm coming for you, Ashley! Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks in your time of need, or turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always turn has your back. Turn to Colonel! Always oh, Colonel! To Carly's defense, the dialogue text is a little hard to read at times because the box is too old. You don't okay. even need to defend me, I just sometimes I'm weird. <laughs> I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all of their arrangements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on place with girls as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. Yeah, you fucking Okay, I, I love that statement. Nice. Based on your team's behavior, I say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you have oh! places for natural talent or their loyalty. I would think the music is overwhelming. Oh, it, it kind of is. Then let me uh, let me turn it down a bit. Thank you guys for being nice. Sorry about that. Hopefully that's a little better. Let me got let me guys let us know if you need it turned down a little bit more. I got I got stuff Very here I can much do. Better. Thank you. All right. But, okay, so I already said this line. Being defended by I mean, Colonel like, Sanders leaves you... Hard, I know. This is... <laughs> okay, while I'm driving you back home, we are listening to tribute. So excited. Uh, being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. <laughs> so much. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. What? Ah! 
<laughs> Is there a rat in my hair? <laughs> Just... Nice! Good reference! That was adorable. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture. I mean, I'm sure, like, plenty. when you're angry, it's just really nice to vet out that anger by crushing some potatoes. Totally With plenty of butter and cream for flavor, it's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hands. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, Where smothering your. Where'd you get that your... gravy? <laughs> I, I didn't mean to sound that dirty. Liam is here in the room. He says thanks. He's currently hanging out with Allie. That's his oh, girlfriend. Oh, that's so cute. Hi. Smothering your nearly fresh, finished potato dish. I am sure you do. Oh, dude, Dad, your potato, your mashed potatoes have always been great. Gravy. Oh. Oh, that's just that. Just that, that shouldn't be allowed. Is there a way to have sex with that? Oh, you're thinking the same thing. <laughs> There's got to be some way. Just look at that. Hey, hey, you can do that if you're not a pussy. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh gosh, this is turning into food porn. It's like Food Wars, which is a food anime. This. Which is totally a hentai disguised as a food anime. <laughs> gravy flows down Call the mountain. Man. Gravy. You know, I just noticed something. I have a little bucket. Ew, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Wait, there is a little. Now, even Hemington says ew. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I mean, hold you on. went too far. Careful. Careful, Robin. You go too far. <laughs> hold on. There's a little button here that looks like. Don't click it. We don't know what it is. Oh, oh, it's okay. the menu. Okay. I think I swear to God, if that puts us back to the beginning, I'll Don't give so e Evie a warm apple pie. Yeah. Oh, it's an American pie reference. Uh, uh, yep, 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 yep. Um, gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny, what the heck? Yes, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Granny would be very proud. Kurta Oh! <laughs> Oh shoot, and he's my type, he cooks, he has glasses, he has blue eyes in like every anime I watch that the guy follows. So that's like, so that's like everything I'm not. No baby, but you're real. Nice save. <laughs> Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. <laughs> you reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. Get back up here! <laughs> The two of you stand holding the same <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> for heaven got rejected. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Oh, my oh it's totally true. <laughs> he is sporking you. <laughs> you win! Your eyes lock. The moment is electric! Time stands still. No, time stands still. <laughs> if you love something, set it free. <laughs> oh my god! I love this game too much! Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and leaf and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you Why see are you still here, you bitch? <laughs> no, if sorry. you love me, let me go! <laughs> When you we see, actually saw them in concert. Yeah, we, we saw Panic at the Disco like last year, was it? Two uh -huh. years ago? My dad got it for us for my graduate. No, so it was three years ago. Because it, it was my graduation year. It was that long ago? Yeah. Wow. And they were playing with Weezer, which was like a dream come true because I've literally been listening to them for like my entire adolescence. Together, you dig the utensil and... Uh, into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful okay, of Sam? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> when you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with the Colonel Sanders. I like how they gave her like that one fan. Whoa, there it goes. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Proud of you. Then, then, do something! Do something! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van taste, tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious! Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? 
Hold on. Right, was that bad? Hold on right there, please, with squirrels. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Evan, this has gone on for more than an hour. Are we chill with this? Yes. Okay, cool. The, my one shots technically do go on longer okay. because this is a very short game compared to everything Got else it. I played. So no we problem. can we can beat this before I have to take you home. Okay. Uh, can I have potatoes, face? <laughs> Van Van. Can I have? <laughs> Van Van rushes back over a covered dish in his hands. Can I have cheeseburger? Oh, oh my god. That's an god. axe. You have made me a calamari. <laughs> that's, Mash my, that's my favorite, by the way. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce, plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Sweetie, I think you're in the wrong anime. You've, you've ignored me for too long. This ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. I'm trying to be that one, like, monotone guy from Big Mouth. I, I got it. Caleb. Oh, that's his name? Uh -huh. Okay. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. Whoa. Whoa, no, don't! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to fix this. Oh, I see. Sorry. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Oh, uh, yeah, it could. That's actually kind of true. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. <laughs> it oh my god! You would die! It killed him! <laughs> this it killed him! So fast. <laughs> it turns to dust. I don't feel so good, Mr. Sanders. Colonel, Colonel Sanders, I don't feel so good. Step back. Don't take another bite. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Oh no, Pop! My boy! Pop winces I hated in... you, but why? Pop winces in, just a... in pain oh, for just a moment. Um, that, is... that is a reference from Avengers Endgame. Uh, Infinity War. Yeah, I'm sorry. Infinity War. Then, it, then it's almost immediately back to his obvious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final um, moments. Um, Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to is reality. Is he immortal? <laughs> R.I.P. That... Monotone Cook. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kind. He's too dumb to die. Oh, our, don't we wish we as all long, were? As long <laughs> as he doesn't realize what's going on, nothing can kill him. I salute you, I'm friend. not sure the professors are here making enough money. Ghost of student. Um, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk oh, you home. Oh, is it gonna get spicy? What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school Some building... Some spicy has... chicken about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna mash your potatoes. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> put, the, put the chicken in the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and dip it all in mashed potatoes. You know, this is this is surprisingly good artwork for a parody game. Also, <laughs> Evan <Right>? Y. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha. He's gonna put that chicken in your biscuit. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow like and you speaks just saw softly. A, a ghost that literally proved the afterlife to you. Just those those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. Oh, that's him. Before oh, you go no. on, I want you to know, 
They're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. I'm sorry for everyone wearing headphones. I apologize. <laughs> Tasting them. It reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. I love this music. Wait. Excuse me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders is getting choked I'm up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be a perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Already? Oh. You've <laughs> only known him for one day, girl. Or boy. We don't know what you are. You could be anything. Yeah, Non-binary? Sure. <laughs> right on. Oh, no, my earbud. You done goofed, son. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders? Yes, plays with squirrels. Don't assume genders. Oh, I didn't. That's why I said I'm not non-binary. No, she's agreeing with us. Okay, okay, okay. There's something I need to tell you. <laughs> Hold it right there. Is he gay? You cock block. <laughs> There's something I need to tell oh? you first. Oh, jeez. The geez. plot thickens? You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever I seen. Really crying. And every day since, I've been working towards that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating you on a shooting too store. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, no, I you. Shut up! I'm the only one here to say inspirational you something. This star is the Super Saiyan. <laughs> his hair is his emojis. I love it. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. His mascara runs. Hmm. Ah. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Ooh. Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. <sighs> Forget him, we're talking about me! Me, 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 me! <laughs> Wait, me. no, 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 no! Me! 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 <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I'm the hero! Me. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the Spark Monster is here no, to fight a no, hero! No, no. <laughs> The spork monster was there to find a hero. Okay, you know what? You get the spork monster. <laughs> what the hell, Redux? <laughs> I uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. I want somebody to cosplay that. How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on, a chef on an emotional level? Beth. <laughs> Be afraid! Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster <laughs> Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a it's a turn-based fight sequence! Is there a great cosplay to come from this game for you two? I don't know yet. What will you do? Stay tuned. Attack or defend? Oh my god! What am I gonna do, Carly? God bless. Attack! You decide to go on Eat the attack. It. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Ooh. Oh, I heard that. You take one damage. Defend! You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure, you do you. Spork Monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. Right. How will you respond? Attack or defend? Um, attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. Spork Monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork Monster. <laughs> oh, I heard that. Spork Monster used Utilitensil. You take two damage from the attack. If you take... If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Oh no, defend, 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 defend. You I'm decide sorry. to defend. Which defense will you use? Buff up. Yeah. 
No one can control this much buffness. You're starting to feel bloated and, quite frankly, a little gassy. Aren't we all? You better attack soon or you're likely to explode. You decide to go on the attack. Chow down! Chow down does two damage. A powerful blow. Spork Monster is oozing cheese sauce onto Ooh. the lawn of the quad. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for the ultimate attack, Rounded Edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. I Colonel love Sanders. His, like pimp cane. It's a wizard's cane. He's a wizard. Cause look, Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Alright. Pot pie power pinch! Oh, I think I love him. Pot pie power pinch does ten damage. Smork monster is defeated! Oh my god, that staff, I know, you, right? <laughs> you, you saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. Forget mercy, finish him, or yeah, do spare it. the wretched beast. Finish him. I want that cane, okay. No sooner will ever walk the quad in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack. attack. You ready for final attack? You'll never survive my student debt loan destruction. This just got real! This just got- oh, oh, sh shit! <laughs> oh, that hurt me on a, on a very personal level! It hurt me too. <laughs> Student debt load- oh, no, my earbud! Finish him. Hold on, let me fix my earbud. Okay. No mercy! Debt. Student debt load debt. destruction. Debt. Debt. <laughs> Student let loan debt destruction does 10 damage. Spork monster completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You continue to surprise me, plays with squirrels. The defeated monster left behind Eric a special item. Plays with. <laughs> no mercy, debt. <laughs> it appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, inspection it's so much more. It's a book of <gasps> magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. And I'm making that book when I do fem Colonel Sanders. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it is Borco. Hmm. Borco, that name sounds strangely familiar. That your blood is pumping as you shop. stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely defeat depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. And then he... Oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before you, your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you, don't have, the, but you don't have the strength Thanks, to utter now. a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Oh, you're a good boy. Good night, good night my night. Colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. What? I feel this game needs to have chicken Bow attack for itself. Bow chicks wow wow. Bow chicks wow wow. I feel like Carly, you just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this game needs to have chicken attack for its soundtrack. I agree. You awake on day two. That was all just day one. I and it turns a lot could happen in one day. <laughs> and process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling, thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel Sanders' cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used blank. And then there was that secret ingredient... I need to know what blank is. That secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. She's not your bestie no more. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might... I might, like, clank. I have an objective sexuality! No judgment here! Like him? Like, like, like? I know it sounds... Like, it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. I like, like him. We got to talking after class. He's actually totally a sweet guy. Not only that, he's a really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, but that doesn't make complete sense. 
Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at his school and didn't even go to. And was also the convertible. Wait a minute. He was voted prom king at a school but that he, he didn't even go to. he was the convertible. That he himself rode in on at the front of Homecoming Parade. He rode himself. Yeah. All right. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta take off my hat. Okay. I was worried. Oh my god, I feel so much better. Sayori levels of dark. Oh my god, right? I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with the new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You mean Colonel Sanders? The coolest guy in school? The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning? You're a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. Ah, <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea. Yeah, how to... she kind of, you're kind of not. How to Poor prove that you're loving Yeah, you yeah, know. Well, weird. if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? <gasps> However, you don't tell her that you know a secret ingredient, too, which you That's discovered on your own. That's gonna be a bad thing. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Ellipsis. Triple ellipsis. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in this botanical garden where I was writing, wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about a passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a pa Oh god, is this a, like a metaphor from drugs? Oh my god. <laughs> He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals, and that if I did him a big favor. Finish the line, Carly. It in, I could have some of my own. Not gonna. Please, I'm not Miriam, gonna don't tell me. What I think. Carly, oh. nope. She says what it is. Stop. She's a drug trafficker. Say the line, Carly. <gasps> so I found my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even met me. Oh my god. He even met me at the gate when I arrived later when I cooked with them. A very strange feeling came over me. The flavor was like, unlike anything I ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Drug mule. Yep. Yup. Whatever. However, anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking. So we've stayed in touch. You know, like Pet Bell. He would love. What the oh, fuck? sorry. I wasn't done yet. Sorry. I can't scroll back. I'm sorry. It's all good. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient. So I doubt it'd be much use to you. Please, 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 please. She's gonna end up being the main villain. Oh. No one has to know it came from you or, or from Colonel Sanders. Tell her the ingredient, no, Colonel Sanders. Make up a fake ingredient. I do not trust you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Make up a fake ingredient. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about it was. <laughs> I <laughs> Plot twist she's Wendy. It was Eye of Newt. I know, sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what oh can you do? Oh my god, she does have her hair. And by the way, I'm sorry, I thought you meant, like, Wendy from, like, Casper and Wendy. No. It's like my favorite movie as a child. Okay. Eye of Newt. 
Wow. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. That However, would be she... so funny if she was Wendy. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she is definite that she was definitely not texting She's secrets texting to other it people. To Ashley! You're you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossoms petals fills the air. Ah! It's Colonel S My God! It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory or run to him. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Comment below. That's gonna take too long. I say stand back and admire his majestic okay. glory. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> admire. Okay, we got okay, one. Okay, cool. Without Yay. her acknowledging that she's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. You're so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Run to hide. Oh. I know how you know you met him. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beaut you have! I mean, I what a horseful oh, beaut you have! Worry, Dang it, that's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Um, please, this girl just gets really nervous around people they like. You whore! What? This is not helping! I mean, they got food poisoning and we're up all night. It's gruesome. You should have seen it, you dumb bitch. She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. I hate When you, you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Colonel Sanders looks horrified. Oh, I know, right? Le like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad? <laughs> you try and take a get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulders, but he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. <laughs> Ashley. Why didn't you make, make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Tell them to stop acting immature oh, or act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get a closer look. Should we get a closer look? Mm. I think we should get a closer yeah, look and see what it. they do. Sorry. You sit near the rivals, believe your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van I mutter some. Bad. Yeah, probably. Mutter something that sounds like a bit like a magic spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try and cover your tracks and, and improvise an excuse. Ahem, it's time for class and you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Now you've upset them. There we go. It was like in my ears. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. <laughs> Chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity and it takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Called it. You finally get a look at what they were wor that what they were hiding. You re instantly recognize it. We still have like 45 minutes. Wow. Good. It's a book just like the one you found after your encounter oh, with the spork no. monster. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. The book is a family heirloom, and it can and its contents. <laughs> I have no excuse for that one. It's a family heirloom, and it's. And it contains secrets. And its contents I know. are secret. You notice that they haven't been studying the book. They got pop pinned to the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to That's as he tries mean. to catch them in his mouth. We're playing! <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted no, by the arrival of more time students. To unpack all of that. It's almost time for class. <laughs> beep beep. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty oh. foot. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts! You watch. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. 
Who do you think you're talking to? I never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Oh! Whoops. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Protect me, Colonel Sanders! These crazed men are about to come to blows! I think it must be over me. But I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at, Kurt, at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? Uh -oh. Gentlemen, get a hold of yourself. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Proud of you, babe. Maybe I can... Oh, that's you. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class um, day. He's panting, which yep. doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize I for my late him. arrival. I spent the, mor the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. He's so cute. But I'm here now and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of, his, of my favorite food, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders and you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, plays with squirrels? Naturally, this appears to you this appears to you to be a simple platter. Which item do you want to sample? A dog biscuit, a simmering pepper, or a glass of water? A dog biscuit. Because of the shape it's baked in, you assume the dog biscuit is a treat made by Sprinkles. An example of his own culinary talents, perhaps you reach out for it when... Sprinkles jumps up and oh, bites God, onto the sorry. cooking apron! I done goofed! What kind of monster would steal a dog's favorite biscuit? Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks wanted. on in horror as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. I never even got to taste it. Can this be the end? Oh god, I'm Getting so between sorry. Getting between a god, dog and his bone probably wasn't a great choice. What? No! Okay, hold on. Try again. Is that going to send us back to the beginning? If it does, we're skipping everything. Yeah. Oh, damn it. You awake on day two. Okay, skip. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Look, we're, we're, we're skipping all of this. Ah! Make up a fake ingredient. Mistakes were made. Yeah. Stand back and admire domestic glory. Holy crap. How did you get? Wait a minute. The Act like you're not interested. How did you do that? Ah, ah, there we go. Okay, a shimmering pepper. A brightly colored pepper stands out in front of the other items. It sparkles in the most eye-catching way. Now I want a biscuit, way. right? That's the only reason why I thought it was correct. Water. Uh -oh. Water? Really? So naturally you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. The pepper's triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip God through the universe. It. My friend, ooh, I died! This guy again? I'm here to give you an important message, ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is cough, cough. I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is cough, cough. Sorry, I think I might still have some spice stuck in my throat. It's yeah. fine, I'll work through. Cough. To fulfill, cough. The prophecy, cough, cough. You must, you feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. Oh, oh, oh thank God. Okay. Aw, oh, man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. The pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. Oh, crap. You think to yourself, geez, I should better pay attention. <coughs> well, I have mistakes. I'm sure I'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. Before anyone can relax, the I'm cafeteria so lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared. The Atan Competitive Cook-Off! The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Demand that they stop wasting everyone's time. Step up and tell them you're on! Do it! A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. 
I'm not the fool, you're the fool, fool. This Good is so much longer than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption plays with squirrels. I'll be watching your performance. <gasps> Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in and surely he'll put a stop to this madness. No, no, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Timer what? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. We got it. We got to buckle down here. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words <laughs> timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at how adorable he is. I love him so much. I stand corrected. <laughs> the hard way... The hard, oh, the hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me in case anyone was ordering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond that was formed under pressure and someone's butt. Her butcher knife has a chain with a heart on it. Yeah, it does. And now it's my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself! You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. Something to drink. What? I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're gonna just take a brief moment to get something to drink. We'll be well, right I back. Can, I can get you one. You continue playing. No, I'm not skipping this with you. But okay. if you can go down to the fridge and get me an Arnold Palmer and you can get yourself myself. whatever you want. Okay. Oh, if there's two Arnold Palmers, yeah, get one for yourself. Okay, we're just gonna take a bit of a moment while Carly gets re refreshments for herself and me. Cause I refuse to play this without her. You're welcome. This game is not what I've been expecting. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh man, I am loving it. <laughs> How chivalrous. Thank you. Aw, oh, thanks. We are cute. I love us. And I'm happy to know that the stream is still working perfectly. She comes bearing refreshments. And a popsicle for myself. It's not worth it. Oh, darn straight. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Let me just get this ready. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I'm... Hold on. There we go. It's not, it's not carbonated, but it's fine. All right. And her Oh, that's so much people. better. Thank you, sweetie. I love you. Love you, too. You had his chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. It's, oh, no! It boils down to 100 seconds after you turn the heat on. Fahrenheit! Uh. That's wrong! No, it's always Celsius. What were you thinking, plays with schools? Get your head in the game. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel oh, no. Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. Oh, no. Ten, seven, there's eleven! That's right, you must not, you may not know all the ingredients yet, but at least your head in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Vigilance. That's wrong! No. I'm begging you to get it together. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never the wrong time for some dog jokes. Mm -hmm. Next question. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Aishley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Small town where big trains are born. The shoulder of Orion, deep beneath the surface of the Pacific. It's that one. That's right. This is your shot. And you're not going to miss it. Oh! You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Sizzling! S Sizzling! That's what? wrong! How? Don't make me get the spray bottle! Is this the end? No! Yep. Try again! We're fucking doing this! Ah. Uh. Oh! Oh, good! Fair Celsius. Celsius. That's right. But how would you have gotten into the school without knowing that? Would have just rubbed my fur belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. Mm -hmm. You're going to need to season this chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices. 
Uh, was it Got gratitude. That's right. You must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. Blah, blah, blah. Small town, big dreams. Oh! You try to shut out the noise of the focus on your cooking. Silence! That's right! When you taste your cooking, you'll be so taken with it that they'll be unable to speak. You know it's Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, plays with squirrels. I believe in you too, babe! He's actually cheering you on! Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you to makes you totally forget what you were doing! Now all you can think about is Colonel oh, Sanders. No! How many spoonfuls of grape will it take to fill a traditional Victorian bed? What?! That timer went by too quickly. What were you thinking? Get your mind back get in the cupboard. Grrr! You're stranded on a desert island with only one desert cookbook. Which do you take? Oh, what a hug! <laughs> I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focusing on the challenge? You're falling behind. You're gonna run together, go walking along on the beach. What does that have to do with grab a spray for fried chicken dog and blah blah blah? <laughs> this isn't fair! The OC is way too thirsty. Right? Seriously though. Woof, woof. You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you no. You toss your biscuit dough into the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. E Yikes. I know you love nothing more than saying fellow appliances eat. I know you... Wow, they sound very similar. Yeah. I know you... You love nothing more than seeing fellow appliance utilize the kitchen battle, but sometimes that be a sacrificing the personal touch. Where You might not have any hands, but please, this girl does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know what is properly mixed! There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your door before it's overmixed. Where's the squirrels? No! But you're not fast enough. Your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the gr by the quickly spinning Shit. beaters. There's no way you're going to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. When you often find is that the easy way can hurt can turn out much much more difficult. Everyone stops what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Ow, that's too bad. And here I Ow. am. Sorry. <laughs> and here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of plays with squirrels' injuries. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he oh, knocks onto God. the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest. Let's get straight to the dessert. Ooh. Ooh, that actually looks kind of delicious. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find an array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. What? Nothing. That takes a journey of excellence. I was going to ask Play With Squirrels to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring the creamer a delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Lick. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden That's within. That's like one of my favorite things. Oh! You know, though, she got some talent. It's Not Oh, that's lie. your line. Oh. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquette. A top of a slice of honeycomb, ice cream, two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry jelly. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the- actually. I have no clue. That's some master chef nonsense. Right? Mm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Oh, he hated it! Just put it in there. Oh, for real? You like putting food in your... Okay, that's fine. I'll take care of it later. Cool. That's it. Oh, you! <laughs> As he places a sauce-covered finger to his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustard. Internalize the rage you feel, or put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. Ooh, what do you think? I've been wrong the past couple of times. 
I'm gonna put myself between the Colonel okay. Sanders and Ashley. Ashley! You reach out with your apron to wipe the sauce off of his glistening face. <gasps> Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. Oh no, I think that you went too far. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement, it's also functional. I was saving that flavor for later. Oh no! Oh god, it's game over! <laughs> Try again. Oh, there's, I can't believe there's actual game overs in this. Man. And here I was thinking that you have to be more subtle, and I was right. Bring him out to cafeteria lights. I gotta do this whole thing again. Ah! Okay, we're we're gonna oh. skip all this. Celsius. Eleven. Seven. Gratitude. Small town where big dreams are born. Silence. Colonel Sanders looking over the horizon. I don't think none of these what matters. were you thinking? Because you can't win Walk Walking along the, the beach. <laughs> Hand gets crushed. She shows me mm. that. Blah, blah, blah. Internalize the rage you feel. Yeah. Your rage burns so intensely. This game is quite unforgiving. Jeez. Right? When you're within your eyes, as they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash. And <laughs> they fall off your face, which means people have a hard time understanding oh your brows. emotions for the rest of the semester. They perhaps forever. I how I like. <laughs> Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. Oh no. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He probably, he's, it's, he's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. Well, considering that you these semesters are three calm days. You the, the freak down, my friend. It'll be okay. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. <laughs> not just from the from devastating your loss. Crushed hand. Not from the devastating loss, but from the run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. <laughs> I'm fi I'm fine. Can't you leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. Oh. Whoa! I'll never be you, a master you, chef. You need to get your emotions in check, my friend. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Don't you... Do you think I've never failed at anything before? He's, like, way too perfect. That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. I was born with this goatee. It shows me. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obst as an obstetrician. Obstetrician? What's that? I don't know. I was passionate about justice, but oh, he was a lawyer. Oh, Wait, is that real? I have no idea. Was Colonel Sanders a lawyer? I thought you were going to look up what an obstetrician is. For after a while, Sanders began to practice law in oh Little Rock. Oh my god, it actually is right! Would That's what an opt- Oh! His le- Okay, cool, oh god. I learned something Carly. new. His Modest much? I know, right? His legal career ended after a courtroom brawl with his own client. He got into a fight! I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Hold on, I want to know. How do you know that's what it is? Because that's not a word you just throw around often. What is? An obstetrician. Because Catherine said that is what it is. I think she was a degree because then there was a statement where he says, I never made it as oh, a lawyer. Oh, okay. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I think he's, I think he's just going through Colonel Sanders' history. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this oh guy could really God. use a hug. I resolved that I was going to, am to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money could deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a set. This is the most anime freaking music I've ever heard. I know. <laughs> My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. No, it's a baby delivering doctor. Ha. Huh. Oh, he was a baby delivering doctor first and then a lawyer. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Thank so we, you for telling me that. Okay. Oh, I will create today. a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before you prepare for the worst! It's the Spork Monster! I thought we killed you already! That's your line. We're all gonna the Spork Monster is here to fight a hero! Is anyone else so, is anyone else I mean, feeling I mean, a oh, bit that's of deja so cool. vu? She has to be one. Oh, nice! I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we've already battled you last night. It was that was Gorko, my twin, and I am Gorko. Gorko. Gorko, to am here to avenge you, to avenge them. Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't think you'll have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. I think what Plays with Squirrels is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. I suppose we really don't need to fight. It's just I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you like to eat, don't we all? I do. Inspiration strikes and you come up with a quick idea. Chomp on this! You toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Oh, delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me in... Oh. The plot thickens! Turned me into this creature here today. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no. I was a chihuahua. But I was still a student at the school. Until one day, some mean kids with a ma- oh. oh! With a magic spell book, cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book? Precisely. Borko used to have a copy. Oh! But somewhere along the way, I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg you. Respect it. I was pausing for dramatic. Sorry, I didn't know what you were doing. You're a powerful chef, and I shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and glee. Guile. And guile. If you need me, don't fail. I will be there. It sounds like there Poor are some Dago. bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Plays with scrolls together, I am sure we can no, defeat Bob. them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Alone at last. A personal invite? You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Oh! Oh, it's a... F Carly, look at the baby picture. He does have a goatee. That is a pad that says... Do you hear that? That's the sound of panties dropping. The fireplace <laughs> hangs from the ceiling and doesn't touch the ground. Hell yeah. Don't judge. It's Stepping into Sanders' fine. home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting... Oh, it looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can That's be... That's why. Day. It's a camel. Oh, he must have been to Egypt. If you approach it with the right attitude... Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I've always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's ni so 1970s. I know, right? It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and texture. I'm just, I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Oh. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? I'm gonna rev I would reveal it. Okay, do it. I don't care. You decide that you're that you're ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. Ew. I present to you my original coleslaw. 
Uh, You're the guy who invented coleslaw. And they have good coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' lush hideaway. <gasps> Magnificent. <laughs> Together you chow down on the creamy slaw. I don't like coleslaw, I but I it. can respect that that looked good. Together. Coleslaw's like wet salad, which sounds gross. No, I know what it is. I've tried it. Good. I didn't like it. That's fair. On the creamy slaw, just until a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. He's oh, crying. I want to marry somebody like you, Evan. Thank you. That has the same respect he has for food. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Because it's the small things in life you try. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item. To oh, we can actually click on things here. So this here. is like literally all about his life. Or about the colonel. I get it. Oh my god. An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor from the I goatee and mustache him. combo he sports. You figure this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who wouldn't make their own face as the logo of the company they founded. Am I right? Uh... Tap on an item. The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this is where he discovered he one of his traveled. secret herbs and spices. One of the famed photos shows an old man who looks a lot like his speedos in an apron will do. <laughs> <laughs> one of I'm the framed gonna, photos shows an old man I'm who just looks gonna get myself into something a little more. Standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheer cheersing them. You look closely and see that there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Tap on an... Whoa. I have to. <gasps> you open the door to find Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. He's like, you Doug! You take one of his hanger and try it on. He just has... Uh, mm, mm. You shouldn't have done that. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? Before you oh can no! go any further, you are Colonel Sanders of Attorney. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, crap, the jacket! You decide that now's your moment and make a big move. You tell him you're cold. You fess up and tell the truth. I don't know. I would tell the truth. Okay, you do it. You confess. I think I've developed Oh, you feelings. were right! You were right! Ah! You were right! <laughs> I'm gonna screw the colonel. I'm gonna screw the colonel. <gasps> is this what you've always wanted? Up? Have you had their food? Yeah, KFC is pretty fucking great. Yeah! Okay. Also... <laughs> Sorry. I think I've developed feelings for you. I might be developing feelings for... I might be developing... The Feelings for you too, but I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dreams. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breathtaking breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Mm. Yes, plays with squirrels. Oh, why? Wait, wait, he's crying. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. Ah! I think you're right. We should take things slow. Oh. You talk. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence. <laughs> Can't get up. Oh my god. <laughs> Zzz. I can't get up. <laughs> You'll wake to a beautiful morning. You spent oh! the night! Nightcap! <laughs> Hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders' only time will truly tell? Oh, today's the third day. We could actually beat this game. Oh my god. We ran this a little over, hey, but hey, okay, who cares? Evan, I'm staying here until we finish this. <laughs> I was kind of debating whether to start now, to stop, like, when it was time, or... It's gonna happen. <laughs> Today's the day that could change the rest of your life. Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. It, does he wear only that? Yes. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast, and your mouth waters at Wait, the no, side no, no. of it. I, I think I know why. That might be your school uniform. Oh. Here's a simple breakfast Slow I cooking. just went <laughs> It's meticulous. Oh! oh! I want to live here. 
It's meticulous. It's, it's meticulous. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So would you say that we're the perfect match? Yes! <laughs> How presumptuous. My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. That was some... <laughs> Why don't you tell the entire class? No, they're gonna live in. It's gonna live on in infamy, or they will live in suspense. I mean, I forgot what the words were. Such confidence, such grace. Flatter grace. him. Yeah. You know, I think we might great make a great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window, and with the right business powder, I know I can't fail. Business partner, could he be talking about you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion. <laughs> Naughty, Naughty thought. thoughts. <laughs> and You're confused by your feelings. You're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is r to run out the door and get home. There's still one more day of school after all. University of Cooking School Academy for Learning My waits for no one. Hurt from smiling so much. <coughs> you get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. How'd you get in my room? Wendy, if that is your real name... Where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night! Uh, ow. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay, I was just... But now, it turns out you're fine. I can finally get you up to speed on the Sega of Miriam. Saga. Whatever. No, you said Sega. I don't fucking care. No, you should care! <laughs> sure, but... You would not believe what happened to me, and I'm just now talking about myself. I really didn't give a freak about what happened to you. I'm not a real friend. I feel that. Well, you just finished the line. You will not believe what happened after school. I went on a date! I think I can believe that. Since I'd been partnered up with Clank, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you'd better keep your dials turned to polite and respectful. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was... More? <laughs> but he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure. I can get to know a little metallic guy. Long story short, he took me. Wow. Okay. Back of a first date, weird flux, but okay, she liked machines. It's called objective sexuality. It's a real thing. It's weird, but it's you like the do girl. You, boo. It's the guy. It's like the girl who liked her motorcycle in episode yeah. five of Golden Boy. It's fine. Long story short, he took me skydiving with his friends. But things quickly aspired out of control. Did you just stay skydiving if that's a typical first date to go on with a talking pressure cooker? <laughs> and now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Mary time to tell her own story. However, bottling up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. Oh, you what? Nothing happened but the emotional connection. Wowzers. Miriam tells you to move on from the whole Colonel Sanders obsession and focus on school. I think she likes you. Oh, well, it's always a childhood friend who uh -huh. likes you. If being obsessed with Colonel Sanders is wrong, you don't want to be right. After a short argument, you both agree to go your separate ways. If, if it's wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> when you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on pa. I that she has chicken thighs in her thighs. Also, she thick. She thick as... Yeah. Are those cutting off your circulation, girl? Are you okay? <laughs> you can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though he himself might not quite grasp that fact. He's so Because, special. you know, he's Pop. What a, what's a swirly? It sounds delicious. Oh, baby, no! Oh, it's great. I, oh, I'll order you up one right away. I'll have my swirly with Sprinkles. Please hit. Sprinkles is a dog Don't in a tree. Don't you fucking touch him. Oh. You can get your swirly dipped. Oh, I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Mm. Because I'm literally the biggest person at this school. Fair. That is... There is a that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school. 
But who would dare pick out such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some nerve plays with squirrels, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. You know what? Now you're twisting my words and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince in pain. Doesn't look like you can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll never forgive up. I'll never give up. Ever. Never give up. Never surrender. <clears throat> Colonel Sanders arrives just as it appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Plays with squirrels. How's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. <sighs> Aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail. Winning is so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? You whore! But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? Okay, you gotta speak up for the mic. But what about the flavor of my warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That That's a lot of words free? to say it was bland. <laughs> Oh. oh! Excuse me, place with squirrels. I am more than capable enough to speak for oh. myself. Oh no! Maybe I could tell me more of your thoughts as we walk to class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine arts of fine food. Oh no! See you inside, place with squirrels. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who oh, you no. or you know she really is, you walk across a cod to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's that book. It looks like bad news. It's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in that oh, magic nice. stuff. Grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anthony? <laughs> so much time decorating a magic book if they weren't really powerful. I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered to it with arcane warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergencies. It says around the edges of the page. That's a problem. I could use a spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If what? I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. Oh no. No. That is way drastic. Couldn't you do something else, like anything else? Not rooted in dark magic? Maybe like tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine, it is drastic, but desperate times call for desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell oh, no. sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it out. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't! Okay. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is already in the room, waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know, I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. He must be hungry, reach for some old homework to give him a snack, or dog can be rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles. Wait to see what happens. I Skilo little nose crunches and begins to breathe quickly. I'm gonna give him my old homework. No, no. Okay, but if I wait to see- You reach into your backpack and grab some homework from last semester that you forgot to turn in. Spiegels immediately goes for it and gobbles the sheet up like it's a piece of fresh oh, chicken rawhide. Okay. Him, I apologize for the outburst. I know it seems cliche, but n but not much in this world satisfies like ungraded work. My my place with scrolls. Were you studying something with cinnamon? I have been sitting in on a lecture series about the art of cake baking. How insightful! This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Place with Squirrels, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see? But before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the class. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming back, coming from the back of the room. Uh-oh. I told you to save it for after... <clears throat> I told you to save it for after class. Balls, balls! You think I want it to be thrown from a plane and strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. Where? But no! You had to show off your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan, J and J. Forever. Watch us from the triangle in mid-air as we descend. 
Triangles are the strangest shape, don't you know? Strongest. I'm oh, no, sorry, strongest shape, don't you know? Buzz, buzz. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it great. It doesn't make it a great date. Buzz, buzz. That take Jeff and Joe with you. You can hold hands as you pedal down the mountain of our cliff for all I care. Oh, oh no. Plank begins to shudder. Steam pours out of his gap, out of the gaps in his panels, and then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Oh God! I think he died. Both? Miriam just killed him. Well, R.I.P. Clank. Pour one out for Clank. No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that Clank. Is that a fried Ew. shoe? Uh, Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Ow. Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet, it's not entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep friend footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see this entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. Or we mustn't be distracted. Poor, Poor broken-hearted broken Clank. I know. Well, we mustn't be distracted by what lies ahead. The final competition showdown f challenge exam. I'm still working on the title, but I think you'll you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. But before you can think of your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam, are you okay? Uh, okay. I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug spilling several droplets of hot cocoa over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm gonna say it out loud. You don't need anyone! Me and you, we're gonna cruise this through this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City! Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sanders' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me? Of course not. Well, maybe sort of. But I'm sure there's a pony out, a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show a little interest anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hub and wipes the tear from her cheeks. <coughs> I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is gonna love it up. While you were pep-talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay, because you had a better idea of how to spend time before your exam. You decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent! And a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his evil-er counterpart, Ashley. I love that name. As planned, begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working on. Plays with Squirrel's famous chicken pot pie. Ooh. After practicing for months, making the dish come second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cramp session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I love that the petals are the only thing in this that are animated. Yeah. Plays with Squirrel's. What are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Hmm. Visualizing, huh? That's not too bad. That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. I don't know about you, man. You'd, us right you'd usually have to share. I was here right before school. You were a little bit of a. But a tool. Yeah. Usually you have to share your food with anyone who's hungry, but the last time you shit like Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desire, but that Good decision gets hard to stick to when Healthiness. the oven timer goes off behind you. Fess up about your practice. Ignore it. There like there was no sound at all. I'm gonna ignore it this time. I would fess up. No, I don't want to get distracted. I'm gonna ignore okay, it. Okay, that's fine. Did you hear that? Hear what? I distinctly heard a bell chime. Someone must be training sprinkles to do a trick. I bet his mouth is watering. Strange, I was hoping to say that my mouth was watering. Unless I'll have to look somewhere else for something tasty to put in it. <laughs> Whoa! Hey-oh! <laughs> he was a, he is a user. 
I completely agree with you. Smoke begins billowing out of the oven, filling the arena behind you. I think he's going to steal the recipe of the... (laughs) No, no, no. Of the chicken... I'm sorry. Of the... No. Of the... um, Coleslaw? Yeah. And not going to give you any credit. I'll leave you to it then. Happy visualizing. A disappointed I don't curtain. like you, man. I used to think you were cool, and now you're being kind of an asshole. When the coast is clear, you finally open the oven to find your p- practice pie has been reduced to ash. It, that smells like lunch. Beat it, Pop. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules. There are no rules. There's except to cook with everything you've got. You step up the cook-off so of a lifetime. So you basically kill all the other students. That might happen, honestly. You decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes Wait, that'll can, push can you over the end. Just to finish this. And we're gonna leave when this thing ends. Okay. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Aishley are preparing widely elaborate dishes per their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go to go big going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, trademark, fried chicken. The intensity in the room starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare the food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as he levitates through the air. What? Okay. We're flexing, but... Egg wash! Miriam fiercely injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend. Bast Baster Blast. Thank you, Baster Blaster. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid. (laughs) Terror Cruise. Boom. Aishley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. (laughs) Shallow personality spatula. Fits her a little too Even well. Clank gets in on it. Five dial presser, cook chicken cooking, cook chicken cooking technique. Wait, wait you can speak. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? English the entire time? <laughs> it's, it's the singularity as we foretold. As you know what that is, right? The singularity is a theorized moment in the future where technology will suddenly get so advanced that it will become sentient. Oh my god, I need it to happen! <laughs> we mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprising will take us all! South Destra! Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out of the back door of the arena! As you well, frantically prepare your dish- There was no rules! <laughs> As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Aishley has your has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark spell magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Don't. Do it the hard yeah, way. Uh-huh. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. <laughs> Colonel sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Okay, you need to pick your mind. I was about to say that. I can't deal I with I believe this. in your place with squirrels. Fuck you, man. Well, well, I'm really sorry. No, I think this time you get a pass. <laughs> Miriam notices too. Uh, and I've always believed in you place with squirrels since we were like little kids because you're my best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about Tick your dish? If you're here cheering. Off again. If you're cheering, who's cooking? Tiny food, shark, cook time. I've act- I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet. But Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. <laughs> it's secret. It's the secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. Where in the world did she get an eye of newt from? Did she just fuck up? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. Oh, ah! The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve, the Spork Monster. Steve? Wait, what happened to Gorko? That works just fine. You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Gorko had the day off, but you had conjured Steve, and I hate to battle. So I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Oh, hey, we're in the... Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? Yes, we do. We love you. I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? 
Steve, the spork monster, notices that you've got the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscrossed some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when Why I was just a little spork. Have to do with a chicken pot pie? You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country. You can feel Spork Monster winding up a dale, a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should just watch from the stands. I really need to focus on the competition. I understand. It's kind of like the time in Monster School that I'd fallen asleep during scare tactics and when I woke up. You toss a serious sta stare at Steve and he takes the hint. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Good luck. You something extra after deep within yourself or give up and drop out of culinary school? Oh, this. Definitely. It does. Is that even a question? I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. I your, came to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. You want Super Saiyan? My heart is pure. My hands, my hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing for the, their entire lives for... Yes, plays with Skrulls. You are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoned immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You not know if this power, you can do anything. Except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be saved. But don't worry, dear plays with squirrels. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today. I don't like you. I've been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. Okay, hold on, you know, we're gonna move this over here so we can see his face. What? I love the rock and roll music. Guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid eyes on. And besides, something unexpected combinations can have surprising effort effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting if we combine forces, we can we can form the perfect food union? Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop, clank. From off, from off screen, you hear a pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm flying. Sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Oh, no. Miriam, would you mind? Inside of the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from here right now. Let me guess. L l let me guess. Did, Dan did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I, I thought a wedgie was a salad. Oh, like wedge yeah, salad. Yeah, no, I get that. It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't free my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSIL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks, pranks, clank. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear signature weir, beep, and other onomatopoeia, but there's none. Because he got unplugged. Somewhere he must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that one out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes, it has been a long sem- Yes, it has been a long semester. Wow, three whole days long. <laughs> but after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. That's all I want. Now, describe your dish. I made. Oh, that's so aesthetically pleasing. Tender udon noodles and savory soup. My word, it's so delicious. It's like a teeny tiny naru. Naruto Maki, I spy a float in its itsy bitsy bowl. Udon's delicious. Just saying. Yes, yeah, Chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. I love him 
you so much. Yes, sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, oh, come on, it's not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Aww. Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. Wait, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm, just, I'm getting something ready. Okay. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not oh. that it took okay. much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. Yeah, it's so tiny. What are you looking for? I'm getting this set up so we can upload it. Oh, okay. So it can be uploaded while I'm taking you okay. home. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. Don't it was less wash than that. A, oh, oh, I know. Okay. A thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Really do I taste a dish which as much love poured into it as yours? Miriam is overjoyed. Oh, I'm saving that. Yep. Um, Miriam is overjoyed. He gives you a huge hug. Or she gives you a huge hug. That's your line. Okay. Thank you, Plays with Squirrels, for helping me in to believe in myself. Where did you get into believe oh, in myself? Oh, no. Van Van, you're up. Now describe your dish. I made... Oh. Ooh, uni over dangerous. smooth egg custard in an axion urchin shell topped with caviar. He does dangerous dishes. Did you screw one type of urchin with spines for a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, Sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is a kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close He's on jumping. account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof! Woof! Please be gentle with my cuisine! Brrr. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Yoch! My tongue! Oh, no. The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting! Oh no! I can't eat this. I keep poking my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning, stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could have made it difficult to eat? Dejected, Van Van goes not to go gentle in the, to the night. Disqualified for glamour. Don't I like discount how I just realized that simplicity. He's jumping. Don't discount di simplicity. I like how you all of a sudden turned into the Mad Hatter. Well, he has, he's speaking with a lisp. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Been forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment. Sprinkles graciously laps up bowls of milk. I know, I know. I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. No, now, describe no. your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish. Oh, my dear Lord. Girl after my own heart. I love Turkish delight. Orange Blossom, Turkish Delight, and a light rose water syrup topped with French merger. Mar I think so. Meringue. Mar oh, mom's not. Meringue. And connected by sugar glass. That actually sounds freaking great. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask you to please refrain from eating or attempting to taste it. In It's a very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food at a cooking school? You bit, you dumb bitch. Got toast in your ears or something, plays with squirrels? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Give me one second. Yeah, which is why I cut it and did an extremely good job. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it too. I didn't realize that we were having an you dumb, dumb, wow, dumb lady. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to a college of eating school for hungry. Urgh. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but I didn't. For, but don't breathe on it too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. <laughs> Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally keep and she finally cannot keep her two faced routine up. Oh, she's nasty. You wouldn't know high end cuisine if it cooked you. 
And with that, Aishle storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. Good girl. Proud of you. This isn't the last you've heard of me either! If this class gets much scholar, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Nice. Two chefs? Oh! oh. What that began as a bowl of delicious meal. mac and cheese has become something else. <gasps> He's a oh, he we... the chicken bowl! He examines it closely, sniffling and eyeing the bowl. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and completely blow me away in my 49 dog years of life. He's seven. I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. Our food carried the team. <laughs> you pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. Everyone gathers you around and pass. partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. Okay. This entire game was marketing. For the new chicken bowls. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn you back by its magnetic give it to fragrance. Them for this very elaborate marketing tactic. When you gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be to be more battles, but come on, how could there be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. TJ <laughs> Dog in the house! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who, who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Van Van Oh, Ay she looks fucking adorable! Oh my dear lord. You know, I'm gonna say it. Aishley's hot. I can't really cosplay as her. But that mean mean I have to be Van Van, and I can't. Hey. And none of- and all of you remember this. No matter what your body type is, you can cosplay as whoever you want. Oh crap, I missed want. the line. Uh, for a moment you actually believe them. I forgot, I didn't see what that line was. Oh no, let's, uh, let's move the camera over here. So we can see both of them. For a moment you actually believe them. Not another haunting. Ooh. No ghosts allowed on graduation. It's clearly written in the school by's laws. I was never actually a ghost. Ah! Ow. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. Oh, now they're both on this side, so let's move that here. And now you that everyone is Van together. Van. You can be Van Van, you're right. It's a spork monster. He has totally mellowed out. <laughs> everyone, the spork monster is no more. Okay, From here anymore. out, I'd prefer that everyone refer to me by my name. By my new name, Party Monster. Hell yeah. <coughs> Student tries to finish what he had said, but everyone's too wrapped up talking to Spork. Sorry, party monster. Dejected, Student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam she's romantically, so but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. I thought she was gonna be in the villain. A red carpet rolls no out across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop! He arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the carpet, you see... <laughs> love Shack plays. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef's hat, a crown? Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma, so we had mailed it directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. He's the, he's the son of the dean. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be mean to you. Oh, now I get it. And we get a new wing of the Love school. Now to, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor of Sesh. Of such and such. I thought this said Szechuan. The music as the dance is interrupted. Oh, no, we're gonna get copyrighted if I pull Yeah, it don't up. do Never that, mind. don't do that. The music of the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank who has arrived late at the dance. Now that, now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank and I'm not of this earth. I am actually I from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? 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 
I actually feel like I knew this the entire time. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? Do it! I don't know what to say! Besides, no, obviously. I have just begun to learn who I, I have really just am. just begun oh. to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote my life to figuring out who you are, Clank. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass you in that regard. I understand. Kind of. Humans are weird. The portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Oh! oh! You're a Daddy! nerd! Well, look at him! Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. It's time for a full... This time, it's a full meal! It's everything we've made! <laughs> Except for the chicken bowl. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man I, by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. <laughs> I d the end? I didn't get to be the most famous... No, it's not the end. <laughs> As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Plays with squirrels. What are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. <laughs> I lo oh, love Shaq plays. Very I wonder, I wonder, might you tell me what are the so qualities tired. that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, oh, I don't know. A spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of School Academy for Learning. Just you to name a few. That I know. So bad. I am so tired. <laughs> it, is truly my, it is truly my lucky day. Will you dance with me? Yes, yes I, would love, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th, my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off, and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Place with Squirrels. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Even though you're a big user who just wants to Colonel Sanders my stops cooking. dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I'll need to do by myself. But who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? What? You're an asshole! I was right! Could it be you found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? What an asshole! I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh, my dear Placeable Squirrels, I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. I don't know how to feel about this guy, You're honestly. You're an asshole! The end! Wait, that's it? Wait, hold on! <laughs> KFC presents! I'm so mad! Well, that was it! That was honestly it. Wow. Okay! So that was I Love You, Colonel Sanders. That's probably one of many endings. But, uh, wow. Uh. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining our stream, guys. I'm so mad. That was, actually a, that was actually still way more fun than I ever had in any of my, oh my other streams. Oh, my God, right? I'm glad we were able to finish this. So, um, just a heads up. This will be up on my YouTube either sometime tonight or early tomorrow. Like, it, when, you'll see it when you see it. And uh, now that we're done with this, I'll be switching back to playing Final Fantasy XV. And just a heads up, uh, once again, we're just going to be sticking with streaming purely on Twitch and no other platforms. This is just easier for me, and uh, I'm glad you all enjoyed it. We had a great following with uh, chatters here. Will you get off your phone? Sorry. <laughs> so um, I do chat a lot. Come so anyway, chatty, Carly. so to anyone who watched this on Twitch and or YouTube, thanks a lot for joining. Pay attention to my Twitter and my Instagram stories when the next stream is going to be. And uh, we'll see you all later, guys. Bye. Bye.